All right, everything that you need to know in order to actually complete this event. Let's get on with it. So first and foremost, let's go over the 10 steps of this event. And then there I will just explain how to get every single mastery related items. So first and foremost, let's go over the 10 step. Starting off in step one of this event, it wants you to talk to Qsley. Qsley will be right here in the hub. So just spawn, go left, and you're going to see Qsley right there. Talk to him, you get step one. Step two, it wants you to collect 25 of the St. Cube's League 7 spices. So all you gotta do is just, first and foremost, Cube's League will actually sell these items, these resources, uh, which you can buy up to a maximum of 18, if I do recall correctly. The other one, the way that you can actually obtain them is by going into the Treasure Isles biome or Lost Isle biome, either or it will work, and just kill either world bosses and kill dungeon chests and yeah essentially you can just find it in the drown adventure world or you can just find it in the prime world i will be going into the prime world so i can just show you how you know where to actually get them so you can see there's a world boss right here and like you can see i got two of them and you can get a range from zero to five it's just completely random but yes it's just from world bosses or destroying dungeon chests so just completing also uh, dungeons inside the treasure isles will complete it and you are also have a chance to get in more seven spices and yeah that's essentially how you complete step two step three let's move on back to the hub you need to collect 10 wash tartar tates or tater tots i'm just going to be calling them tater tots from now on but yes uh you are going to collect them right around here just you can just buy them from kisley for 10,000 flocks each so it will cost you essentially 100k flux to get all 10 of them or you if you do have the materials to actually craft them you can just craft it right here it will cost you the actual tater toss plus glim plus flux and the way that you obtain tater toss is just uh, getting them from the tater toss see tater 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 toss i'm just, again i'm just going to keep calling them tater toss which you find there here in the green thumb or bo no button uh, buttons however you want to call it rank 250 in the gardening bench you can just craft the seeds right around here it's either that or just buy them on the marketplace or buy them from Qsley. it's truly right now as of the time i'm making this video the the cheapest one has to be getting them from Qsley, <laughs> surprisingly uh, so yeah just get them right here it's just going to cost you a lot less anyways let's move on step four it wants you to craft a saint Qsley's delight so you can just get it right here uh it will cost you the materials that you just got from step two and step three and just craft it and there you go you got yourself a food item that is just going to allow you to co keep completing this event which let's move on into step five step five all you gotta do is just get yourself a luck beans hunch uh the luck beans hunch is just going to be an item gotten from the new uh, enemies which are going to be the triceratops types enemies and also the regular dinosaur t-rex uh luck beast enemies i'm just going to show you uh, all of that but yes all you gotta do is just equip that food that you just got, that you just crafted, and go into either Neon City or also go into um, the Jurassic Plains biome. You're going to go all the way over there and you're going to find those types of creatures. These creatures, and there's also going to be a rainbow one. Uh, all you gotta do is just kill them and they will just drop a luck beast hunch and that's how you complete step five step six it wants you to craft the other food which is just going to be the feast of saint kuslik so go back to the hub and you're going to craft the other food which is just going to be feast of saint kuslik which will cost you 50 of the seven spices 30 wash tartar taste so again it's going to cost you like 300k and the luck beast hunch which again like i just mentioned you get it from the previous step and that's how you essentially just craft that food that food will last for one hour i didn't mention the other food the other food lasts for 15 minutes so make sure to once you equip the food do the step as fast as possible yeah that's how you complete the step six step seven it wants you to find some saint kusli coins so saint kusli coins are found almost exactly the same way that you find the seven spices so you gotta do is go into the treasure aisles or go into the lost isle whichever that you want drown world or regular treasure isles and you're going to find treasure boxes that are just going to be lying on the ground those treasure boxes only spawn if you do have the food equipped 
So either the feast uh, of St. Kusli or the St. Kusli's delight. They're going to spawn in either biomes or on the surface of the of this biome in particular, the treasure or lost isles. They're going to be essentially just treasure boxes that you can just get them essentially everywhere. So all you gotta do is just go search for those uh, those treasure boxes, which will appear pretty much everywhere. They're pretty easy to spot. Uh, let me see if I can find one of them so I can just show you. Okay, never mind. There's one. So yes, you can actually just see they will be right there. Uh, I do believe they also go in the same range of like one to five. So you can get either one or you can get five uh, from those treasure boxes. So yes, uh, that's essentially where you actually get the coins and just keep destroying those chests until you get five of them. The next step, it wants you to find the pot of gold. As you're going to see right around here, pot of gold is going to be a new crafting table that appears in Treasure Isles as well. It only appears next to the three star boss inside the Treasure Isles. So three star boss is not regular one star, it's just three stars. So it will be right there, right next to them. And you can just find the pot of gold right there. Once again, you need to have the food equipped in order for you to actually complete this step. So all you gotta do, just press X or press the use button and you're going to get the recipe right there or whatever you want to call it. While the food is still active, all you got to do is find Sir O'Lucky, which is step 9. So what you got to do is just craft any item that you see right around here. Uh, normally, I don't know if you count in daily. Let me just see if dailies do count. So yes, even crafting daily items will count. Once you do craft one item, you are going to get in the top left a buff. That buff will last for one hour. And what you're going to do is just find a unity shrine. A unity shrine is just going to be the, the objective that uh, needs you to get three players, which is not too difficult. Unity shrine appear in pretty much every single biome. You don't have to be in... So it can be essentially in, a, in any biome. So those are going to be those objectives. You're going to find the NPC right around here. Just talk to him and that's about it. This NPC is just going to have five different type of loot tables. So five different types of loot table, which you can actually just uh, buy different types of mats, which will cost the coins. So the loot table will contain a lot of items. One of them is going to be the fragments of luck, which I will highly recommend you to get. So once again, it's going to work uh, in the same way as both. So one thing that you can do in order for you to actually just keep getting the uh, different types of loot table is if you find the NPC just go from really 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 far away once you're just far enough just go back into the NPC and you're going to see that the inventory is going to be different so I'm right here once again just next to the NPC let's see if I went far enough yes as you can tell I do have now a different inventory right here and I can get the other fragments of luck because those fragments of luck you can only get one of them per inventory so there's going to be a total of five different inventories, so you can get a total of five fragments of luck, which are used to craft some stuff inside the pot of gold. So yes, make sure to do that. And yes, anyways, that's how you complete step nine. The way that you complete the last step is just going to be find any of the luck piece treasures. As far as my uh, little testing that I noticed is that Oh, the Jurassic Plane enemies is the only one that actually do work for this one. Let's go is just go into the Jurassic Plane and just keep killing enemies. Uh, the Lug Beast and the Flux Beast, which are going to be the Golden T-Rex and, and this Rainbow T-Rex. Just kill them and you're going to have a chance of getting either an untradeable slash tradable ally and an untradeable slash tradable mount. If you get one of those, it will count as treasure and you complete step. 10 out of 10 and that's how you complete this event and yes that's essentially everything that you need to know in regards to the all 10 steps of this event all right so now we are going to move on into how to get all of the mastery related items because there's some of them that are going to be either grindable and there's going to be a lot of them that are just going to be just craftable so essentially pretty much everything is just grindable but i'm just going to be teaching you how to get every single mastery related item so First and foremost, let's start talking about the little log beast, the little uh, flux beast, and all obviously the new allies and mounts that are just grindable, which are going to be the tricera lock and the tricera flux. Those are going to be all of the new items that are just going to be attainable if you are just grinding. So lock beasts are going to be the untradeable allies and mount, which are going from any of the uh, new event tied uh, creatures, which are going to be the flux beast and lock beast. So just killing all of the Luck Beasts or Flux Beasts will have a chance of actually granting you a Luck Beast mount 
or a log beast ally which are untradeable and you can just kill them right there you have a chance of actually getting them and once you do get them collect them the ally is 10 mastery points the mount is 50 and yeah that's essentially how you're going to get the little uh lock beast and the flux beast. the little lock beast by the way is an ally that has a 150 base magic find so if you do care about a little bit more about magic find then you can just go ahead and do that so yeah the flux beast is going to be a tradable ally slash mount because you can get both of them an ally and a mount which are only gotten very rarely from these creatures these are going to be the flux beast so just kill them you have a chance of actually getting a mount or an ally that is just completely tradable then there's going to be obviously the two new allies and two new mounts which is going to be the same thing as the uh, little log beast and the little flux beast the flux beast and the log beast or whatever you want to call them it's going to be now two new enemies that are going to be tied in the neon city which are going to be the triceratops or the tricera uh, lock tricera flux which i'm just going to try to find them so yes these are going to be the tricera lock just kill them and you are going to have a chance of getting not only the new tricera lock mount but also the tricera the little tricera lock ally those are going to be the same as the little lock piece and the lock piece they are uh, untradeable and yeah you can just go ahead kill them you have a chance of actually getting them the same way as the actual flux beast is going to be the the tracer of flux which is just going to be the golden version let me just see if i can actually just find one keep in mind that all of these for both the uh tracer of luck and the little lock beast or whatever all of these creatures you need to have the either the new banner which i'm going to showcase you how to get it and also you need to get yourself uh the food so if you don't have any of the food uh, the enemies will be uh invisible the only way that you can just kill invisible enemies is with something like the tomb racer or the pretty much any minion summoning class that actually can see so by the way these are going to be the tracer of flux just killing them will have a chance of get, uh, granting the uh, tradable ally amount which can be quite rare and they can be quite expensive so yes that's going to be essentially the new grindable items now let's move on into every single craftable item but yeah just as a little proof right here there's going to be an invisible enemy right around there so if i actually summon a minion you can see they actually just targets every single invisible enemies and you can just go ahead and keep doing that if you don't have any of the food equipped so yes you can do that as an option i would not recommend it i would probably just recommend you to actually just get something like um the banner which i will showcase it right now one more thing that i will be mentioning is before i go into all of the crafting things i'm just going to mention this once again in regards to you know going into the unity shrine with the pot of gold you know right there so you can actually just see the the types of uh, different types of inventory and once again you can find uh, even event items like this one for example these two hostel which are very exclusive the ladybug wings and obviously the fragments of luck uh the fragments of luck are going to be very important for you to actually get because those fragments of luck are just used for the banner style which is going to be very very important if you do have the food equipment you manage to find yourself a three star and you do have a fragment of luck my first recommendation that i will just say is just go into the three star dungeon i don't have any bombs equipped let me just equip my bombs and get directly into the three star obviously once again the pot of gold can be found on a three star boss if you do have a food equip so it's just going to be right around there and you can just craft all of these things once again you can craft this banner and that this banner will allow you to get the the effects of the food which allows you to see the enemies uh that are just obviously invisible normally this will just allow you to just see them every single time so yes this is one of the things that you can do and the banner style i do believe you also do get one mastery point for the banner style but if you can you can also use a Luxion style stash uh, to get this banner style which hey did you have those two options and the other thing that you can get is obviously little lucky which is just going to be a tradable ally 10 mastery points and you can see it right there and you can craft the this recipe which is tradable and it is a maximum of 39 uh recipes that you can get in order to get all uh, all of the recipes for this event and yeah i do believe i cover everything that is in uh, this event i cover all of the items that you can just get so pretty much all of the items from the npc all of the craftable items from qsleo pretty much essentially everything that you need to know in this event so 
yeah, that's that, that covers everything. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions on this event. This event can be quite confusing. Uh, it can be quite expensive as well. So <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do. But either way, if you if I forgot something that is just important, then just let, let it know in the comment section down below. Just leave it right there for more information for the players out there. And yeah, that's going to be everything for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing as always. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care and keep on hunting.